sponsor me. Before we get started, I'd like to just take a moment, oh, not my skin, cover that, to appreciate my eyeshadow and my lashes today. Like, girl, I'm a fucking highlighter. Like, highlighter who? Try highlighter eyes. I just started a new trend, okay? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I got my tripod set up. It's really just like a midget tripod on top of a trash can, but like, college girls are innovative, okay? We come up with things on the fly. But, that being said, today we're going to talk about the pros and the cons of going to University of Oregon. Now, I'd like to preface this with a few things. Um, first off, I am from Southern California, so a lot of the things that I think people from Oregon might not agree with, if you're from here or you live here, then you're probably gonna be fine at this school. Um, but if you're from California, you're probably gonna agree with a lot more of what I have to say. Second thing, I am a graduating senior, so I've been through the whole four years of it, and I stuck it out, and it was rough. I'm gonna try and cover kind of like the more general concepts. I'm not gonna be super specific about like what it's like being a freshman or a sophomore or senior, like each grade, because I'm kind of looking at it after my whole four years of being here. But if you're considering going to University of Oregon, you're considering staying, um, you're considering visiting, um, I would say definitely visit it first, but if you're gonna visit, just keep in mind that coming in spring is way, way, way different than winter. The one thing about University of Oregon is they're very similar to the UC schools in that they have terms, so we technically have four terms a year and they're called quarters. So fall quarter or fall term starts in September, kind of late September, and it goes till December. And that's like a pretty good term. There's a lot of stuff that goes on. There's sorority rush or recruitment, whatever you want to call it, sorority recruitment. There's football games. There's um, like tons of sports things happening, tons of holidays. Um, the fall is a really nice time here. It's very, um, very like how you would expect a seasonal fall to be. And there's always a lot going on. Um, everyone's just coming back here, so everyone's like involved in stuff and like reuniting or whatever, moving in. Um, so the fall isn't really too bad. Winter term sucks, like actual butt. Um, winter term is from January to late March, and basically it's been terrible all four winter terms of my time here. Um, this past winter term, it snowed so bad we had like a week off of school. And like, y'all may think snow is cool and all, but for someone from California, Snow is very, like, very inconvenient. The first day was fun. You can see it in my snow day video earlier on my channel. But, like, after that, it just kind of, I don't know, it just kind of sucked. Like, it was depressing. For me, being from California, winter term is very gray, very rainy, very cold, and overall very depressing. Like, Seasonal depression is a real thing, and you very may likely get it while you're here. I know for me personally, winter term is always the hardest term for me, so I always took like extra classes or extra things to help keep me busier during the term, so I didn't think about it as much. It kind of jumps back to being really fun and fresh in spring term, um, the weather does eventually get nicer. We've just recently had like a week of rain and stuff, but before that it was like high 80s. I was tanning by the pool. I got sunburned. Like, spring term's 
springtime can be really fun. Uh, you can do a lot more like hiking and outdoor stuff. Um, like there's definitely stuff to do. There's more like parties and day parties if you're into that scene. So that's kind of just like a overall, that's not even a pro or a con. That's like a bunch of them mixed together. Some cons. The nightlife here sucks. There's all of three bars that most of the college kids go to. And if you're not 21 or somehow getting into a bar, you're going to a frat party or a little house party thing. And it's pretty much the same people every time. Like the city of Eugene is really filled with just the kids going to college here when it comes to nightlife. It's the same people every night of the weekend, every weekend. It's really boring. Like it's really boring. Also Eugene is so small that like there's not a lot of concerts. I don't know. It's a weird mix of concerts here. And the concerts that are here are occasionally good. There's like maybe one or two a year that are like actually like yeah that concert was dope. A pro. There's definitely a lot of organizations to get involved in. Um, if you're someone who was in a lot of clubs, there's just a lot of like acceptance and there's a lot of ways to kind of find your niche, your niche, 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 find your niche here. The sporting events are kind of fun when we win. There's a lot of good like campus jobs. Um, if you really need to do like work study or you really need a job, there's like a pretty decent selection of campus jobs. Um, a lot of them are in the dining halls in the dorms on campus. There's a lot of stuff in the restaurants on campus, the rec center, um, event planning. Like there's a, there's a lot of options, um, probably even more than I'm thinking of. So if you really need a job, there's a lot of stuff out here. The parking is so bad. There's literally no parking at all on campus. And any parking that there is, is ridiculously expensive and oversold. They're always building new stuff, which is kind of a pro and a con. So there's just like constantly construction, whether it's in the center of campus or on the edges of campus. Right now they're building, or they're finishing up a new administration building in the center of campus, which actually turned out not as ugly as I thought. I just hope that they finish the construction by graduation since we have to like walk by the building and that would kind of suck to be like walking by construction and be like, ah, here's construction in the background of my pictures. No. Um, they're also building a giant science building across the street from the pre-existing science buildings. Um, this campus is very liberal arts and they're finally starting to get a little more into sciences and research and all the like ologies. If you're coming soon and that's something of your focus or interest, you'll definitely have a lot more opportunities because of that. What else is being built? Oh, the new track. It's literally gonna be awful. I don't understand. Like, I thought Hayward Field was so dope the first time I went for an NCAA tournament. I thought it was so cool. And the second time I went. And they just had to go take it out. And now there's no NCAA tournament for me to go watch my senior year. And I'm hurt. That was something I really enjoyed spring term the last two years was the track stuff. This stuff's so interesting. Like, what the heck? You ran that fast and jumped over some sticks, like hurdle things. I can't even eat a hot dog that fast. I don't know, I feel like I'm biased now because at this point I'm kind of just over it and I, like looking back, I'm really glad that I went here. It definitely helped me to become the person I am today and find myself and find what I'm good at and find what makes me unique and just build me into a stronger woman. But at the same time, it would have been a lot cheaper to go to SDSU. Cons, there's not a lot of food variety and everything is kind of far. 
if you don't have a car, you're pretty much eating the same like eight things around campus or whatever you can take the bus to. There's a lot of really cool professors here and there's a lot of really, they need to go professors here. Fraternity at sorority life is there. I don't wanna say anything to turn off the people who are part of it and who do enjoy it uh, with my own opinions and my own personal experiences. So we'll just say it there and you can do it. I recommend trying it. Um, if it's not your thing, don't push it. This campus is not very diverse at all. It's trying, but it's not. I know when I first came here, I kind of thought like, wow, it's like so diverse, but that's really because of the spaces I'm in. For example, I work with the athletes. I'm a tutor for athletes. And that space that I'm in six hours every Tuesday and Thursday is a very diverse space. And that's the thing is like, that is diverse, but the rest of the campus is not. If you're someone from a really diverse place, or you like a lot of diversity, um, this is not the school for you. Honestly, the only reason there is so much diversity in Eugene is probably because of the school. Like, I hate to break it to y'all, but that's the tea, okay? Everything's kind of far. The mall is, oh God, I didn't even talk about, I didn't even think about that. The mall is sad, but the one good thing about shopping here, no sales tax. Being from California, that's like the greatest thing. Portland's two hours away. It's not that cool of a city. If, if you've been to or are from places like LA and San Diego, Portland is kind of like, huh? Like it, it, it's just not very city-ish in comparison. Um, there's still like cool stuff to do and, um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of like nature stuff if you're a big nature girl. If you're a big nature girl, um, there's a lot of like, hikes and there's the coast it is not a beach it is the coast it is sand with water but not a beach i know what a real beach is honey that's not a beach uh but the coast is cool there's like foresty stuff uh there's like crater lake and stuff like that there's uh snow stuff like there's mountains and stuff i don't know i don't really know about those things I'm more of a beach person, so like for me, this stuff's kind of like it's cool if you have a car and you have time and you have friends to go do it with. If you don't, you're probably never gonna see it or do it. Like it, it's just not. It's also kind of far. Everything's far. Basically, moral of the story: if you want everything to be close to you and not need a car, don't go to school here. That's all I can think of right now. All right, y'all, so that's pretty much everything I can think of. If you have ideas for more videos, let me know because um, I'm gonna be home in the summer soon and I'm not gonna have anything to do and no job, so I'm gonna make a lot of videos. So give me ideas and uh, leave a like on this video if you found it informative or helpful. Um, and like Skoducks still, like Skoducks. But yeah, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.